Hello everyone and welcome to Gardening with Ben. In today's episode we are going to be talking about why we should grow flowers in the allotment. So sit back, relax and enjoy today's episode. So as I said, in today's episode we're going to be talking about why we should be growing flowers in the allotment. In one of my previous episodes we talked about why we should grow fruit in the allotment, but today we are going to talk about why we should be growing flowers. Now, basically I've only been growing flowers for about two years down on the plot. Uh, and now I'm getting really into doing this. The reason behind growing flowers is that it attracts the wildlife, it attracts the bees and it attracts insects, it attracts all the pollinators that you could imagine. So that is the main reason why I grow flowers. And one thing that you should be doing if possible is growing spring bulbs on your allotment. Now the reason why you should grow spring bulbs in the allotment is because they are the first flowers that the bees see when they wake up after winter hibernation and they need that food, they need that pollen and yeah, everybody should be growing spring bulbs in the plot. So now they'll be on sale in the supermarkets and garden centres. So go out and buy some daffodils, hyacinths, tulips and plant them in the garden. You shouldn't be planting your tulips till November time, but you can plant your daffodils now. And amongst obviously helping the bees and the pollinators, they will also make your plot look beautiful as well because there's not much growing at that time of year. Uh, there's not much color in the plot. So you need to be planting those spring bulbs. And you can get a big bag of daffodils uh, for five pound uh, from some supermarkets so go and check them out and get some planted I'll definitely be purchasing some over the coming weeks so stay tuned for me planting them on the plot as I want to have as many flowers growing on the plot as possible I planted a load of bulbs last year and so I'll be going further up my plot and planting more daffodils for next year so yeah it's going to look pretty good in spring fingers crossed that is the plan anyway so what flowers have I grown successfully on the plot let's go and have a look at what we've grown so one of the main flowers that I've grown this year is clundula and they are so easy to grow you can start sowing the seeds now ready for next year but I usually sow mine around March time and they still come out fantastic if you look at them they are absolutely glorious and my borders look fantastic they add so much colour to the plot and yeah, absolutely amazing. And as you can see, the pollinators are out. But yeah, absolutely glorious. And you can actually use them in salads as well, apparently. Not that I've ever tried. But yeah, I tend to leave the heads on to die off because these will provide the seeds for next year. So you don't need to purchase any seeds next year. You can just replant them or you can leave them and they'll drop the seeds and grow all over. People say they're a bit like weeds to be honest, that you can't get rid of them once you've got them, but I don't care. I'll have as many as possible down on the plot. So yeah, those are calundulas, absolutely beautiful. Next up we have sweet peas. Now these can be tricky to grow, they can be hard to germinate, but once you get them going, they are really good to grow and you can use these for cut flowers to put in vases at home or you can leave them on the allotment and make it look beautiful and they smell glorious as well uh, they're really good to grow and like many other peas and beans they produce these seed pods and you can save them for next year um, they need to get a bit bigger and browner 
and then I'll pick them and store them for next year. And sweet peas are quite expensive to buy in packets. You'll only get about 25 seeds in a pack. So the more you save, the more you can grow next year. And they look stunning, absolutely stunning, these pink ones. And then look at these, absolutely glorious. Everything I grow from seed, I don't purchase any flowers at all anymore. I just purchase the seeds and try my luck with growing them. And we have great success on my allotment. They look absolutely glorious. Such a nice colour to have. I'm so pleased with how well they've done this year. And then we have the sunflowers. This year I've grown different varieties of sunflowers. Usually I just stick to the orange and yellow ones, but we've gone for different varieties this year. And look at that colour. Absolutely glorious. And again, you can save the seeds for next year. As you can see, this one's looking great as well. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, flowers are definitely a thing to grow. And as you can see, I've got plenty down the side of my plot. Coming out, and you can see my neighbours growing them as well. But yeah, absolutely loads of sunflowers this year. And you can always eat the seeds as well, roast them and eat them. Not something I've tried yet. But I might give it a try this year, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. So that is basically the reasons why we should be growing flowers, to help the pollinators and to add colour to the plot, because there's not much colour on the plot if you're just growing vegetables, it's just green. So you need to be adding some colour to the plot. And obviously the flowers that attract the pollinators, they will help produce more fruit on your fruit trees because you'll be attracting the bees to the plot and they'll find your fruit and help pollinate them. So yeah, get planting flowers if you don't plant flowers on the plot. Let me know if you don't grow flowers and you're going to start growing them next year in the comments below. It's always good to see people's feedback and I hope you do enjoy these videos. And please do subscribe to the link and stay up to date with all Garden with Ben videos. So thanks for watching, until next time, keep gardening.